Hey there, this is Ryan Kingsline of ZBrush Workshops. Someone asked me recently how I got this green uh, clay material that I used in a previous video. And I want to show you a little information about how you can adjust the default matte caps inside of ZBrush. This is just something that uh, we kind of forget occasionally. Uh, but let me walk you through a couple of options. One of them that we don't really pay too much attention to is actually in the render palette itself and it's in this adjustments sub palette. Now this is an older part of the matrix but if you go in and you click adjust you can do things like increase the contrast, decrease the contrast, and this is all happening on the canvas itself. You can increase the brightness, decrease the brightness, and then you have RGB levels in here that you can be adjusting as well. And everything's happening on the canvas itself, so it, it takes effect as you move it. Let's turn adjust off, send our render back, and let's take a look at the materials. So right now I'm using a green clay, and it's a matte cap material. And matte cap materials, you probably already know, they get their strength from this little texture down here in the corner. That texture is what they call uh, a material ca uh, texture. And that's just a capture of all the different normals and the color of the information. So for example, right here in the corner, those polygon faces are pointing in this direction. These are pointing slightly up. So the color right here is really going to come from, a, from the normal of something on this sphere that corresponds. Let's point that downwards. So that's going to take its color information from something around here. It's a pretty ingenious system, this matte cap system, and gives you a lot of power, especially when you're creating your own. But what if you don't want to create your own and you want to just adjust it? So a couple of the things that you can do. You can adjust the intensity. And when you adjust the intensity, you're going to notice that there's there's this, these different parts. So there's what would be the crevice, which I'll outline in red. And notice how that's dark. And then there is the, uh, the highlight, which I'm just indicating in blue. So these highlights or these surfaces that are facing out. Key to the matte cap system is understanding that in terms of form, let's say we just have a, a little crevice, a little form like that there are two different surfaces. This is what would be called A, which is the higher area, A, and then this is what we're going to call B. This can all be swapped around, but in essence, you got A and B. So in that sense, you can come in and adjust intensity A and intensity B. Now that I've taken intensity B higher than intensity A, that area that used to be with the crevices is not quite as dramatic. So what I usually do, let me just set these back to one and one, is I'll just come in and adjust the intensity a little bit on both, but trying to keep the same system intact. So if A was higher, I'll keep intensity A higher, even as I go up the list. So this right here is a, uh, is a nicer, uh, green clay for me because it just renders better inside of Photoshop. But we've got a few more things that we can be doing. We can increase our depth. And if you're not familiar with what depth does, you can actually see exactly what it's doing right up here in that swatch in real time. So I'm going to drag it back down and set it to one and then pull it up. It's taking that highlight and really just pulling it tight, almost as though what it's taking, what it's doing is assuming that what was once a round surface, like a round ball, is now actually being pulled this direction. And so this highlight, this form right here, is getting sharper and the fall off is becoming more dramatic. So that's what depth's essentially doing, it's what it looks like it's doing. And the purpose 
is to just sharpen that highlight. So this is kind of nice. It doesn't always work well, but that's a that's a kind of nice highlight. It also really increases that shadow, it increases some contrast there too. You can always monochromatic some portion, and I find this actually to be really good with these um, with these clay materials to either make uh, A or B monochromatic. Uh, what that does is kind of set up this warm cool relationship because either A or B is going to be warm and then the desaturated surface is really going to be kind of cool in comparison. So it adds a lot of uh, realism, a lot of just a nice vibrant quality. You don't have to set it all the way to one, but some variant thereof just makes it sing just a little bit more. Now, the final thing I'll mention with these matte caps, and I rarely adjust these once I've got it because I found the, the development team did a fantastic job of capturing these materials. But you can adjust your cavity detection, okay, and your cavity transition. Now, all of that was incredibly subtle. So let's increase the variance between these guys and you'll see it a little bit more clearly. I'm gonna turn monochromatic off for a moment. And I'm also gonna adjust depth back to its normal. Okay. So let's set cavity detection to zero and all of that AB stuff goes away. This is a modifier on it. So you set it almost like to 100% or 50% or whatever you want. Cavity transition is another modifier and this is going to define how hard or sharp the um, the transition is so if we take this down to zero you're getting a perfect blend so it will completely blend between all of uh, between a and b and uh, usually you're not going to see much difference from this if you have cavity detection set to zero or cavity transition set to zero you do if your uh, A and B have different colors. But for now, let's just say not much. Then as you increase your cavity transition, and you go all the way to, in this case, negative one, that's the hardest, sharpest transition. What happens when I switch this over to one? That's when you flip A and B. So what used to be A becomes B, and they're flipped. So Usually I don't sweat this too much. I'll flip it if I really want to, but this is really just a hardness softness. You can also almost adjust this hardness and softness by just adjusting the intensity difference or variance between these guys. You get a lot of that there. So there we go. Cavity's good. Let's set some monochromatic and we get some warm and cool vibrancy and let's pull out a little bit and there we have our own kind of variant of the uh, green clay and we haven't had to do too much to get it so there's a lot of flexibility in these brushes or these uh, matte caps and a lot of power for what you can do without having to get in and adjust that uh, material texture so good luck with your sculpting and uh, happy z brushing